Welcome back to the Storm series episode 4, where we will talk about Sandstorm. This episode is brought to you by Hujan Malaya. Ever wondered what happens when the desert decides to send its sands on a wild airborne adventure? Today we're talking about sandstorms, those massive powerful dust clouds that reshape landscape and travel thousands of miles. Let's break it down. So what exactly is a sandstorm? Simply put, it's a meteorological phenomenon where strong winds lift loose sand and dust particles off the ground and hurl them into the air. These winds are usually created by pressure gradients. That's when air moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas, causing those desert gusts to kick up dust. Sandstorms can pack a punch. Winds can easily exceed 25 miles per hour, whipping up a haboob. That's the technical term for the massive dust wall you see rolling across the desert. Some of these walls can be over 3,000 feet high and stretch for miles, reducing visibility to practically nothing. But it's not just a visibility problem. These sand particles, though tiny, travel fast enough to erode buildings, vehicles, and anything else in their path. Think of it as nature's way of sandblasting the landscape. Check it out. Sandstorms are most common in arid regions like the Sahara, the Arabian Peninsula, and parts of Asia like the Gobi Desert. These areas have dry, loose sand just waiting for the wind to pick it up. But here's where it gets interesting. Sandstorms don't always stay local. Some sandstorms can travel thousands of miles across continents. For example, Dust from the Sahara is regularly carried across the Atlantic Ocean, reaching as far as the Caribbean and the Amazon rainforest. That dust is rich in phosphorus and other nutrients, which actually fertilize these distant ecosystems. Not only that, the fine dust particles in sandstorms, some just a few microns in size, can affect air quality when they reach populated areas. These particles are small enough to be inhaled, which can trigger respiratory issues like asthma or bronchitis. So if you're caught in a sandstorm, the best move? Seek shelter, not just to avoid sand in your hair, but to protect your lungs from these tiny airborne invaders. And if you've ever been in one, you know, even indoors, the dust somehow finds its way in. Once the winds die down, the dust settles, sometimes in thick layers that can change the landscape entirely. Sand dunes can shift, and new layers of sediment form, shaping the desert over time. In the end, sandstorms are more than just nature's tantrums. They're powerful, dynamic systems that shape ecosystems, affect human health, and even help nourish distant environments. So the next time you see one, remember, there's a whole lot of science behind that dusty wall. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this content, please help support us by liking this video and subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate it.